That same scene, by the way, of cleaning up is playing out all along our coast today. Our team coverage continues with Haney Yashivi in Harpswell. There's a lot of destruction here in the coastal community of Harpswell, which is known for its vibrant working waterfront. The harbor master here tells me this public dock here at Potts Point is about to fall into the ocean. He doesn't know if it'll stand there following tomorrow's storm. Flooding caused major problems here on both public and private properties, on roads, docks, piers, bridges, houses, and the list goes on. Yesterday, Governor Janet Mills declared a state of civil emergency in eight coastal counties, including right here in Cumberland County. It will last for a week, and then the governor will assess if it's still needed beyond that. This state of emergency makes it easier for communities to apply for and get access to funding and other resources. I feel for them, and I think um, all of Maine feels for all the, the working waterfront right now, and particularly what happens after Saturday. We'll just see. Here's Harpswell Harbor Master Paul Plummer with his biggest concern. I think the biggest concern about Saturday's storm is going to be, um, you know, everything's already weakened from this last storm. Uh, sea walls were damaged or completely um, removed from people's property. Um, and so if the meteorologists are correct in saying that the storm surge may surpass the 1978 um, surge, that yeah, I think there's going to be some, some pretty significant damage. The Maine Emergency Management Agency is encouraging any business and homeowners to document that damage, take pictures and report it. And ahead of tomorrow's storm, make sure you have a plan and that you have gathered the necessary supplies. In Harpswell, Hannah Yeshivi, News Center, Maine.